Good morning, Algebra. Um, as you can see, I'm still pretty tired, still in my PJs. Um, it's been kind of a longer week than expected, but you know, this is what we're doing now, and I'm happy to say that the majority of you, pretty much all of you, have done exactly what you need to do, and I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, hopefully it's not too much work that I'm giving you, it's just a little bit here and there. Um, you know, the 10 problems or so per day. Um, starting next week, you will have one of them that will be graded for accuracy. I'm not going to tell you which one. You're going to get two grades on that one, the completion grade and an accuracy grade. Um, at the end of the week, after that week's work is done, all that that you've done will turn into a quiz grade. Most of you should be getting hundreds on all of these quizzes because you're just doing the work. Um, but there's one grade that will be a graded assignment grade, that one's going to be graded for accuracy, um, as well as for completion. <laughs> if you have questions about that, just email me, let me know. I've been in pretty much consistent contact as the days go on. Um, so, that's what's happening. Today we're just going to kind of continue on with what yesterday was. Today is using the discriminant. The discriminant is that part underneath the radical, underneath the square root sign, that b squared minus 4ac. Now what that does is that tells us what type, three things, well two things, what type of solution you're going to get. Is it going to be real or is it going to be imaginary? Um, and how many? So we're going to talk about that in just a second. So let's kind of move into here and just kind of recap the quadratic formula. Recapping the quadratic formula, if you recall, is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything over 2a. That's our quadratic formula. Now, quadratic formula has what's called a discriminant. This, this right here, is your discriminant. This b squared minus 4ac is the discriminant. Well, let's talk about how many. How many solutions we're going to have first. If the discriminant equals zero, I'll write this all down for you. If b squared minus 4ac equals 0, then that turns into one real solution. One real solution. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, then it's two real solutions. And if b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, then that becomes two imaginary Or you can say z zero, no real solutions. So in other words, if it's zero, it's one solution. If it's positive, it's two real solutions. If it's, let me move this around, my mistake. If it's negative, then it's two imaginary solutions or no real solutions. You can just say no real solutions as we've talked about. There are, we're not talking about imaginary solutions in Algebra 1. That's an Algebra 2 thing. So you really can just say that there are no real solutions. Now let's see how these work. Let's say that we have here um, 2x squared minus 4x plus Three. 2x squared minus 4x plus 3. We want to solve this. We want to solve this. Okay. 
But first, I just want to see how many solutions we have. What we can do is we can say b squared minus 4ac. That's all we want to do is see how many solutions it is. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug everything in. Negative 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times 4. Uh, times 3, sorry. Again, why we have erasers. 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times 3. Okay, so this is 16 minus 24. Which becomes, as you know, that is negative 8. And therefore, because it's negative 8, we say no real solutions. No real solutions. No real solutions. Because this right here, all I did was plug in b squared, negative 4 squared, minus 4, always 4, times 2, times 3. No, so that becomes 16 minus 24, no real solutions. That's all you need to know for this part. So the next one, I'm just going to give you another one. We can say, um, let me just change a little bit. 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. Not much different. Instead of plus 3, it's plus 2. But we're going to see what happens. We can say, okay, same thing, b squared minus 4ac, negative 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times 2. Well, 16 minus 16 equals 0, and therefore we have one real solution. And I'll show you how that works. When you get to the no real solutions, you can stop. We're not doing um, imaginary solutions. We're, we're only working about the real ones. So now I'm actually going to solve this. We're going to say negative, negative 4, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared plus 4, nope, minus, minus 4 times 2 times 2. We already know what that is, so we don't need, actually need to do that math. Everything is two, over 2 times 2. Okay, so we have 4 plus or minus square root of 0 over 4. Well, that becomes 4 plus or minus 0. Well, if we add or subtract 0 to 4, either 1, 4 plus 0, 4 minus 0 is still going to be 4. Everything over 4, so it's 4 over 4. So the solution to this is, to this equation, x, if that equals 0, then x equals 1. As we've seen, pretty easy stuff with that. Now the next one, the next one we have, let's see, let me come up with one. Okay, so we're just going to say x squared minus 3x, no, no, do I want to do 3x? I don't want to do 3x, um, minus 8x, so let's do, okay, x squared minus 8x minus Let's go with um, come up with a new one. <laughs> Let's just say minus five. We'll just come up with that one. Um, we'll use a calculator. We'll round if we need to. So we have negative, negative 8. So we're going to do the discriminant first. My mistake. We're going to do the discriminant first. We're going to do the discriminant first. 
which is b squared minus 4ac, as always. And then we can have negative 8 squared plus uh, minus, my mistake, minus 4 times 1 times 5 times negative 5. 4 times 1 times negative 5. We have 64 minus negative 20, which is going to give us 64 plus 20, which now has us at 84. So our discriminant is 84. It's positive. Therefore, we are going to have come up with two real solutions. So let's find out what those solutions are. Pretty simple stuff. Again, we just use this equation to plug in negative, negative 8 plus or minus the square root of negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 5. And everything over 2 times 1. Okay. That's 8 plus or minus the square root of 84, which everything over 2. So now we use a calculator to find out the square root of 84. Square root of 84 is probably going to be about 9.2. Yep, about 9.2. So this becomes 8 plus or minus 9.2, everything over 2. 8 plus or minus 9.2, everything over 2. Um, and then we just kind of do our two different solutions with that. So what we're going to do is just kind of 8 plus 9.2 over 2 and 8 minus 9.2 over 2. That's what, remember, that's what that plus or minus is. And then from there, we just kind of continue to solve. Okay, so that's 17.2 over 2 or negative 1.2 over 2. This one is the easier one, so we can say it's negative 0.6. And this one is a little bit trickier, but still not that difficult. You should still be able to do this one without much problem. This would be 8.6. So our two solutions are 8.6 and negative 0.6. And that's pretty much how to solve for the discriminant. Using the discriminant, it tells us how many solutions. Remember that just because it's negative does not mean that it's not a real number. It is real, it is rational, it is one of your solutions. So this negative 0.6 is one of your solutions, 8.6 is the other. Um, and that is pretty much all that there is today. Um, not much this weekend. I'm not going to give you any work over the weekend. I'm going to give you one assignment. It will be due on Monday. So if you don't want to do it today, that's fine, but it's going to be due Monday. Every assignment I give is going to be due the following school day. And since we don't have school on Saturdays and Sundays, it's not going to be due tomorrow. It will be due on um, Monday. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email. A lot of people have been doing that, and I appreciate it. So... Um, keep it up. Good work. Talk to y'all soon.